Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Gabarski Show. We're going horror. We're going horror right now. We're going horror right now, but we're going gangsta horror. We're waiting for Tomo, but Tomo's not he's not picking up the call. Hold on. Down. Mech Warrior 5. What? I'm gonna play like Mech Warrior the first one or the second one. Is it still janky? Most positive. Very positive. No, I played the uh, mech warrior strategies or whatever it was called. Metro series up to 80%. Nice. But it is Hobbs Battle, the excavation of Hobbs Battle. The excavation of Hobbs Battle is a folk horror narrative driven adventure. Explore the ice in the mood of rural Victorian England with the coming in the stairs of Hobbs Battle. The end is a lies in the soil. All right, this is good. Thanks for the gift. Play it now. Disk space required. Disk space available. 69 gigabytes. Okay. You can leave this uh, on in the background. Install it. While we uh, puzzle out, are we going to be playing the GTFL? Or are we just going to GTFO the. the Dio. The. It's downloading. It's downloading. Viscera cleaning. Viscera cleaning detail shadow war here. Oh. That's awesome. I don't know, dude. Do we try, uh. Do we do a run on our own? Do we play something else while we wait for. A dude. Let's see. Horror games. Scoobity boobity 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 boom boom boom. Hmm. Fire watches. This is horror game. Hmm. about maybe doing a Resident Evil but it's 49 gigs and it would take like two seconds. Okay, but the, the whatever it's called, the Hobbs whatever is downloaded. Maybe you can take a look at that while we wait. Sure. Sure. 
goddammit. Let's do it. Let's do it. And see what's up. And see what is up. Alright. Good to me. Looks good to me. Let's give it a go. I have to change the game. The what was it? The Woo Excavation of Hobbs Barro. Hola. Hola. Hola, como esta? Played the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Goodbye. Thank you for the gift, Resigne. For checking it out. I'm checking it out right now while we're waiting for it. Come. Cloak and Dagger games. Alright. See how bitter this goddamn tea is. Oh! It's one of them games, eh? Music volume, okay. Ambient, speech, click to advance dialogue. Alright. New guy. Okay. No menu there. We're just going in. Okay. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> I love all the widgets. Uh, and it's a full core, which I like very much as well. Great. Good. Okay, what's in the big case, lady? Can we get a full screen? Wow, oh my god. I haven't even started and it's already like, can we do this? Can we do that? What do you think about this one? This one kind of breaks the, the scariness. If I had like an actual camera, then it might be good, but let's just do the, uh, let's just do the, then the less scary one. Okay, there's something we there's we have to solve with it. it's in the light. Okay, no. Funny guy. Hello and welcome. Like and subscribe. Like what you see. Alright, I hear you, goddammit. Would you like to come underneath my umbrella? That's that's how we say it in Western Europe. Umbrella. Uh huh. Oh, never mind. Ah, Miss Bateman. That's me. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Sure has. Mr. Wilson. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. I, I do see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Look at your death out here. Oh, okay. That was the excavation of Hobbs Barra. <laughs> Hello. Okay. I love the sound. Already scared. I know. Dearest mother. Do I have to click it? I hope this letter will reach you. You're all right, my dearie? What's troubling you? That's I have the spent these book. past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. What is it?
I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Mm-hmm. Gonna get on his shoulders. Whoa! The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. Okay, we're going through the letter. Here we go. We have arrived. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. Belay that I order. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Whoa, okay. Uh, now it tells us how to... Okay, to access the inventory menu, move your mouse to the top of the screen. Left-click on the inventory is selected. Right-click to examine it. Once the inventory is selected, you can right-click to deselect it. You can double-click on an exit to the phone directly to it. Double-click on an exit. Oh, okay. The game will occasionally auto-save. Okay. Keyboard settings. Menu. Quick save. Quick load. Map. When available. Space bar. Show interactable hotspots. Oh, okay. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? <laughs> Lovely joke. Lovely. Oh, fantastic. Like some tea and cookies. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Damn. My mother took me to the railroad tracks and I stood on top of them. I ought to read Mr. Shoulder's letter again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. Oh, exit. Hello there. Hello over there. Hello. Knocky knocky. Hello there. Knocky knocky. All right. Let's read letters, handkerchief, money. To do or not to do. Uh. Dear Miss Maidman, I write this letter in the hope of piquing your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows, and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book of them and the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Brule, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is a rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend, and there is a rumor of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bule and excavate the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the plow and furrow in Bule. I shall await your letter. Yours respectfully, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Dear Miss Bateman, marvellous news, I shall meet you at 8 o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new new month at the Plough and Furrow in Bule. The inn has fine rooms which, will find, which you will find adequate for your short stay. When we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not lo located on my own land, but we will have no issue gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the Plough and Furrow Inn. Excuse me? Yes? <laughs> Wonderful. Marvel's British accent simply, simply marvelous. Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you. Uh. Where are you traveling to today? That would be none of your business, your business young yes! Lady. <laughs> Quite. Apologies. <laughs> What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend Perfect. much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I I'm am. A little bit but local. I don't live in the village. I'm looking for the Plough and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. Ooh. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight, straight ahead and you'll find the market square. 
The inn is to the side at Square. Thank you very much. I wish you a pleasant journey. That's also none of our business. All right, uh, what brings you to Beulah? Oh. I beg your pardon? What brings you to Beulah, miss? That's what I thought. Tell the truth, I have nothing to hide. Lie, she looks superstitious. Just a bit of sightseeing. Hmm. We don't get many of your type out here. I know, right? My type? City folks. Curious young ladies. Not much to be seen in Bewley, if you ask me. Hmm. You're better off waiting for the next train back oh, to the city. I'm seen already. I'll take my chances. Mm. Mm. Can't say I didn't warn you. All right, didn't. Oh, she just came. That was odd. Yeah, I feel like a greater good kind of lore here. All right. For the greater good. Oh. Okay, we're going from left to right. That's where just okay. We're going. Oh. No. <gasps> It's a crow or a crow. I never know how to pronounce that one. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Ada. On your own, on your way. Door, door, exit, door. Check out these doors. The old woman told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. All right. I'll have time to exp you, you, An old woman told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? All right. And here's the mark. Beating raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. <laughs> sure is, my lady. It is rusty and full of holes. Okay, sounds a little bit just like me. I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. Someone has them, right? <laughs> this must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. I didn't say pick it up. It looks like I'm in the markets. This looks a little bit like Witcher 1. The cross denotes this as the site of a market, or perhaps a site of traditional religious significance. Mm -hmm. Folk lore. Okay, is this the end? I can't take the sign, nor do I want okay. to. We're gonna get a lot of those, aren't we? Plow and burrow. The plow and furrow. Okay. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. All right. Excuse me, young fella. Oh. Hello there. To me, to you. What's the young lady doing out alone in the sodden weather? <laughs> sodden it is. Get out of the way, sir. You're drunk. What are you doing out in this weather? What are you doing out Oi. in this weather? Waiting for you, my dear. Ah. I doubt that. And I've waited long enough. Oh. So, give us a kiss now, won't oh, you? Oh, really? Aye. Oh. <laughs> Humor him, he usually works with men. Hell no. Slap him? I have no time for this. Deflect question, perhaps he is married. Deflect question or slap? Deflect question, maybe we can get some of the law. Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife! My tea will be on the table at this hour, and if I don't get back, she'll be roaring. Until we meet again. Oh wait, that's a will. buffoon. Ah, a buffoon. Wonderful. What? Oi. All right. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Okay. Anyone here who plays dice? We got my special Witcher ones. Ooh, I love the close-ups. Uh, a little modern thing in a point like Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very nice. I don't want to take the painting with oh, me. For fuck's sake, just. Look it's a crudely it. oh, painted okay. scene that wrong, appears but... to be of a biblical nature. Mm, biblical, you say. Mm. Menu? A El decorative plate. plate. This one depicts a cat. All right. I have to go to... Oh, okay, this is going to be a puzzle. We're going to solve that later then. A fine exemplar of inebriation. Man, 
Every, every time I say inebriated, they like, oh, that's, that's, I don't know what it means. And look at this, there it is. I was just British the whole time. The innkeeper is a serious looking man. Oh, serious looking man. Okay. It's all just then. A rather miserable looking fellow. Ooh, he's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Sure. We are engaged I know that one. in an intense discussion. All right. Hello there. Give me one of your finest. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help there you? A room. I was a certain learned shoulder. Er here. No, don't mention dice poker. There is a hundred percent completion in this chat. Give me. Oh, this is something you related. Uh, I am in need of a room for the night. I need need. Aye, we aren't short of those. Nice. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, tis not a problem. Three shilling per night. Okay. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Boy. One. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? What? Thomasina Bateman. Excuse me? And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beely tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Did we just, just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. Is everyone here already trying to kill me? The painting depicts a rocky edge lake. A small bronze plate states the name Lake Cubilius. Uh -huh. The old Cubilius. Yeah, I had that once, yeah. Oof. Oof, don't do any more of those exercises after I got my Cubilius all messed up. A pixie faced peasant boy painted in a naive style. Uh -huh. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. Too, too bad. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. This painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. Let me tell you. It's not unusual to be sensual like this. A colorful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed N. Hamley. Hamley. Odd. The Tonbert. I'm not cultured enough to understand the reference. A biblical scene of some kind. An angel is depicted looking longingly to the heavens. Excuse me, could I have some more tea, please? Oh, right. I live alone with by myself. Sad and lonely. Never mind, then. They are engaged in an intense discussion. Do we want to engage in that? Engage in discussion? Hello, sir. Oh. We are in the middle what of a discussion here. Want? Sorry to interrupt. What about you, Mr. Dude? Good afternoon, sir. Note for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's note for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. All right. Good day, sir. All right. Back in hell. Be holy, eh? Wee. All right. This shall do nicely. Yeah. Sure, sure will. Time to change into something more comfortable. Uh oh. Chat. Okay. We didn't have to black it up. Oh, hey, looking nice, Thomasina. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Much better. That's my puzzle-solving mode. All right. I've stored my case in there. A box right. within a box. Nice. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Nice. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. A jug of water for drinking or washing. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna drink or wash? No doubt the mattress is stuffed with itchy straw. 
A decorative plate depicting a goat. Okay, so we have a goat in our room. Mm -hmm. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. And Perhaps moor. a local landmark. Mm -hmm. a local My landmark. evening light shall be provided by this solitary candlestick. Yeah. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. We're going to take that with us. Screw. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Ah, comp. Yeah, we did. There's only one match left, though. Aye. As the only light source in the room, I ought. I ought to leave this in here. Oi, oi, oi. All right, let's go. Just give it a little check. All right. All right. Where's my tea and biscuits? To the water closet. Hello, sir. Hi. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? <laughs> you is going to dodge. Oh my god, they're going against the, the trains. Uh. What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. My whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me. Aye. Uh. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station. Never. is gonna be swarming with outsiders like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? This is our town, <coughs> our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? About that. <laughs> My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? Exactly. None of your business, sir. Ha! Ah, you're brave coming in here, all on your own. I think so, too. I'm a grown woman. I'm Th Cyril. Oh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Cyril, all right. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. Come on. I don't come you to your names. city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. Bye for now. Ta da, lass. <laughs> Wonderful. Is it one of those we are a proud community with Cthulhu in the basement? Yeah, it's, uh. It's hot fuzz. It's absolutely hot fuzz. <laughs> Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. Outdoor. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I know, right? I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. All right, Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate? Most adequate. Excellent. Stanley Kemp, tell me something about yourself. What does a Stanley Kemp do on a early afternoon on a particular Saturday. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. Extraordinary. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Aye. Saved up my coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. You don't say. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. And I look forward hard. to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building. Mm -hmm. Worth a visit. Church. Key landmark. And a key word with all these church, churchical and biblical things. I'm looking for a man named Leonard Shoulder. He's about a knee high. I'm looking for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. 
What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard then? That's none of your business, sir. Absolutely lie. Absolutely lie. We've become good friends through our correspondence. So, I were right. He is an admirer then. Not in that sense. So you've come all the way to Bewley on your own to meet old Mr. Shoulder because of innocent letters? I... Now, now. I can see a lie from a mile away. All right, all right. You can trust me, lass. Your secrets are safe with me. I just like a chat, especially with me guests. A good, honest chat. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you must know... I am what some people call a barrow digger. Fuck. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? <laughs> Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. <laughs> I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. Oh, a barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I. You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. Pottery? I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Perfect. Oh, aye. Very oh, aye. interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in no, Bewley. No, don't say A site that. called Hobbs Barrow. Oh, no. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Lara, is that you? Yeah. So, two two things are scary here. First, we've told them our mission, and now we all of the neighborhood knows, and we're gonna be hunted. And also, another potentially scary thing is he lived his whole freaking life here, and he's heard not nout of a Hobbs battle. Is shoulder trying to kill us? What's who's who's gonna kill us first? Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see once you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging mm -hmm. around in the dirt, lass? You know. Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. <sighs> I inherited Easy this passion from my father. Oh, a barrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Thanks for your time. Oh. As you were. Mr. Shoulder should uh. really be here by now. Better with artifacts than with humans, wait. it seems. We told him we were rich. We told him we were on our own. We told him what we were looking for, that their biblical place that we're about to... Where on earth is he? Uh -oh. What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I got home, had my tea, but it gave me an aching belly. How so? I felt bad for how I spoke to you. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. 
What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. He's just gonna leave. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder, oh, all right. I... If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. That's him. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. That's him. He's the shoulder. He, ha he is the shoulder. One ale coming right up. I really don't think you need another. The man is a liability. We are here on our own doing things. One ale coming right up. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about old Leonard Shaw. That's him. It's got to be him. Oh, I actually have to go and get it. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, no. He's going to be dead when we come back. All right, Stanley. How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. It's got to be a tankard. Nothing else. You know, they're always rubbing their glass, but it's always a tankard. There we are. Two pence, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you. All right, great. Well, that's... This was the last of my money, but Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. That's my two pence. Oh, exactly. Please, yeah. Miss Bateman. An ear, then I'll tell you all. All right, all right. Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. Oh, that hits the spot that does, lass. Now then. Uh -oh. Old Len. Leonard Shaw. You have no idea. <laughs> Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. I do not need to use the lavatory. Just as I was about to say, I'm out of here. All right, I'm going out of here. I should wait here. Wait for what? Isn't it coming? No doubt the mattress is stuffed. I do feel... I do feel tired after the trip. A sturdy... Mm. I don't wish to take it. A decorative plate. A decorative plate. Look outside the window. Something. A jug of water. I don't wish to. I. Maybe if we, you know, we think. Maybe if we talk with this guy now. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? There we go. You ought to be careful asking too many questions round here. Be on your way. All right. Oh, I don't mean to. Listen to me, will you? Be on your way. Good day, sir. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't wait no more. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. I've, I've waited all my life. The poor thing. What if we set something on fire? We have one match. Mr. Tiller. He's not dead. I would still like to hear what he has to say about... After one drink, two men. Okay. How can I help? May I trouble you for a glass of water? If it's water you're after, I just refilled the jug in your room for you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. As you were. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess that activated something, right? Oh. I don't wish to carry the... This may come in handy. Quite a jug of water, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're about to spill some water. All right. Shkaboom. What are you looking at me like that? There you go. Oh, what the hell was that for? Good morning. You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard Shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. This man is unbelievable. We were too gullible. 
We have two gullible. Ah, oh, it's gonna be him, though, isn't it? It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. After an hour, my girl. Have you honestly have never? Miss Bateman. My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the gents. Lovely. Mr. Tillett. These look modern. I'm surprised. Is Mr. Tillett in there? It sounds like someone is in there. A cold draft is leaking in from under the door. This leads outside. I can see it's still raining out there. Oi. Oh, I. Here we go. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? The mirror is coated in a... Th the water looks highly questionable. I ought to get... The water is... Well, here we go. We know that close-ups can happen, so... Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. Perhaps. Perhaps he is. The mangy thing is fast asleep. <laughs> Just like a Mr. Certain Tillett, I know. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to high heaven. I can't reach the... The door opens a crack. But appears to be blocked from the other side. Mm. I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett, oh, Arthur, are you out there? <sighs> Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. Oh, for fuck's sake. Everyone's dead. Come on! No, just give this game for older people, really? Okay. Oh, good morning. Good evening, sir. Take the umbrella. Oh. Tomo! Excuse me, sir. Who the hell do you think I am? Go into dark alley? Uh, the sign is No. I shouldn't wander too far. Oh, Mr. Shoulder may Still waiting for that guy. The cobblers is cl The, the cobblers has been boarded up. The building Alright, let's go. Goddamn. Excuse me, could someone please stab me in my stomach? Glove. A single glove is lying in the mud. The post has been embellished with a fine bronze bust of a horse. The post has been sturdy looking barrels, no doubt used to store ale. from within, making me feel somewhat cold and damp. It's the small window to the lavatories. Surely Mr. Tillett could not have squeezed through that gap. Unless he's a cat. A beam of wood is propped up against the door, barring it closed from the outside. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett? Why would he have done that? Bought him a drink. He didn't want to talk. The glove Mr. maker. Till it leave, then block the door behind him. Something strange is going on here. 
Who was that old chap I saw outside the alley? He headed eastward. Maybe I could catch up with him and ask him if he saw Mr. Tillett. Mr. Tillett? A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. Seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. Sir? What am I doing? I don't wish to go... The old man has disappeared into the darkness. I best turn back to the inn. Sure, we... But at that moment. Oh. No prison, did you? Everyone is dead at the inn. We, we go in from the. Last orders. I should get some sleep. Oh no. Finding the missing men of Beaulieu shall have to wait for tomorrow. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? You can't. Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. <laughs> that sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. The inn is closing soon. And no, Mr. Shoulder. I should get some sleep and find him tomorrow. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. I should get some sleep. A lovely place to warm oneself. A lovely place. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. Just drying off my ass. Just drying off my ass. <laughs> Let me dry off some uh, some ass and uh, put the kettle on. We're in the country. We're in the country. <laughs> yeah. I'm also wearing long pants for the first time in ever, dude. I wore them once a couple weeks ago and I was like, oof. And now here we are. All pants up. Ready to bust some crimes. Here we go again. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Oh. oh. There it is. My cow said. Alright. I'll get the goods.
All right, I ready? Yeah. A lovely place. Kenneth will be a. Let's go. Yes, I must get some sleep. I, I shall must. track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Shall I? Miss Bateman. Uh oh. Yes. Off to bed. Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulder's let me down. The rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Pewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. Stanley did it. <laughs> Stanley did it. I don't know what's... Uh oh my goat is watching me. Shkabal. Fucking knew it. Arthur, get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> Adventus Home Ame Home Ame Adventus Candle out. We still have our matches. Hmm. Such horrid dreams. from the inside just as I left it last night hmm it was a dream as I suspected I must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat I must say I'm relieved right then let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard's shoulder I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow I'm rather anxious I to also go wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett he's the cat I keep telling you that candle didn't last long. No the bed is comfortable there. enough. Alright. Anything else? An empty bowl has been provided for... I don't wish to... Plate. Alright. Good morning, Miss Bateman. Good day, Stanley. What's different? I've no use for ash. ashes through ashes, man. I must say, last night has rather put me off using these toilets. It's always this part that makes the squeak, doesn't it? A decorative plate. This one depicts a decorative plate. A decorative plate. A decorative plate depicting a bear. Hmm. No cat. A decorative plate. This one depicts a cat. Never mind. A decorative plate depicting a serpent. Cat. Curious collection. Cat. A decorative plate. This one depicts a bull. This is a decorative zodiac. plate. A decorative no plate. Eagle a decorative zodiac, though. Did you sleep well, Miss Beardman? None of your fucking business. Not really. I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming, as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr. Tillett. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Bateman. Right. I'm happy to report the right. rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? 
His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Oh, I. Uh, what does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items. Packing a little bul bulky item right here. <laughs> Does he have to do such a thing? My equipment is valuable. That sounds capital. Thank you. Is it safe to do such a thing? I can assure you the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. That's not what I... Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. If you were, I mean, yeah. Miss Bateman? Yes? I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. I've been tossing and turning all night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten, uh -oh. I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. And well, uh, I have not been honest with you, lass. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything go. in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of, too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. But I'm gonna tell you, all right. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. A man not to be trusted. Come on. Maybe he's, you know, just has the, uh, the time blindness. Just like me. <laughs> Where is Hobbs Barrow? I, I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast, lass. I tend not to go wandering out there. A grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post. Leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. And certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. Good stuff. It seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash. All of it. I have a few hours until Kenneth arrives. I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. Map unlocked. Oh, okay. All right, man. Hello. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around, dear love. Not worth mentioning to you, like. I see. What can you tell me about Hobbs Barrow? Not to be found digging around in those things. You know of local barrows, then? Don't concern yourself. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? I don't know out about no Leonard Shoulder. Goodbye. ta -ra.
That man then ran away. He's shouldered them, right? I don't think anyone is home. Hello. Good day. Hello, miss. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless! This time last month it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month it's swords. I gotta do me like that. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So parents, you know of it? you're older than me. No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Right. Hello? E yes Have you heard of Hobbs Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. It's a pleasure to Douglas. meet you, Douglas. That's a great sword Ooh. technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn 12. I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. What is the lantern worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. Come back. John Lampton thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. We must all be prepared. The lantern worm isn't real, Douglas. Father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck. Like a giant eel, it were. I ran home so fast, I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas, this lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train. I love watching all the steam puff up into the sky. Have you been on the train yourself? No, miss. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father says we have all we need here in Beulah. Mm. <sighs> Beulah. Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Beulah, Beulah from the lantern worm. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. Who is Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Knock, knock, knock. Hmm. No one here. The cross denotes this as the site of a market. Or perhaps a site of traditional religious significance. Oh. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. I don't think anyone. Good day. Yes. Mr. Crozier, I presume. Aye, George Crozier, at your service. My name is Thomasina. Hi. Can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye. Born and bred. This were my father's forge before mine. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. You let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, aye. Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? 
I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Can't tell you out more than that. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. I prefer a quieter pace. Aye. When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How delightful. Mm -hmm. Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be not to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. A fantastic specimen. I have one just like this. It's Mr. Crozier. Alas, it is not mine to take. I didn't come to Bewley. A simple... It's Mr. Cro the blacksmith is right here. I've no need to... Mm-hmm. Oi, oi, oi. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Oh, all of these? Oh. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In Coming memory later. of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Millicent Smith. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Percival Roach. Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Mm -hmm. In memory of Henry Crozier. The father. Mm -hmm. The trusty trowel, the barrow digger's best friend. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Short sure, term, I mean, thank you. A fine assortment of baked goods. A lovely treat for those who enjoy such things. But not I. I only enjoy tea and biscuits. Hello. Good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? I would, but I got me no money. What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely Bakewell puddings. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell puddings. They are quite famous. Alas, Famous. I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see. And one cannot shirk one's duty to the mm -hmm. church. I understand. Duty to the church, all right. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. 
How come? Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? Well. It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Mm -hmm. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. Of course. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man lovely. and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. All right. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. This leads to the church tower, I presume. Goodness me, look at these box pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. Hmm. Is that a necklace? Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Leave it there! Those have seen better days. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. Mm. Extraordinary craftsmanship. Thank you. Well, I I didn't make it. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my specialist area. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. I've no time for such things. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. <laughs> locked. Sure is. Okay, let's go find Father Roach. Oh. <clears throat> You're doing your exercise? This 
malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. Excuse me? Cut me. I beg you. The vicar looks dreadfully ill. I don't wish to look too closely. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. I don't think it's sharp enough. Okay, we're doing this. All right. The trowel's blade is dull and rusted. I need something that will provide. Okay. Okay, we don't. Okay. We're not. Okay, I'll definitely use a glove with that too then. Uh, glasses? Ouch! Exactly. The broken lens is extremely sharp. Did we get it though? Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. I don't think that will help me pick. How come you not can pick up the goddamn okay. matchbox handkerchief? This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. This should work. Oh my. God. Goodness, this should work, she says. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not gonna cut his fucking arm off. Don't leave! Oh my god, are you for real? Don't leave! Don't leave! I'm not going near. Oh my god. Are you sure this is the only way, father? <laughs> I beg you! It's the only cure for this torturous malady! What is the torturous malady? Should be a little bit more specific. Alright, All right, Paps. Are you sure you want me to do this? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, it will cure me of my ills. I shall do as you ask, Father. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. God bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, what Father. The fuck The was rapid that? healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. Huh? I'm Frederick Roach, vicar no, of St. No, no, Edmund's no, no, we're Church. not glossing over that. My name is Thomasina Bateman. It's a pleasure to meet you. Where is the what the fuck was that part? Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry. <laughs> That's all. I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. Yeah. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. Are you from Bewley originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there mother. as a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, father. <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. St. Edmund's is a fine building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape, but our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. What about your congregation? Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. 
But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. Picking up berries, I presume. How the fuck did we cut his hand up and he's like, okay, now I'm better. Zombie? I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. Thank you, Father. Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register? No need. I remember it now. Mm -hmm. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do after you aided me, so. Capital. Thank you. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. I'm not going near. How was that okay? That was not okay. A hole. No doubt home to many a woodland creature. I have no desire to. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. Lord, you're blushing. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Says who? Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Bewley. Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. These are his woods. Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Bewley. We feel like the guy from Shrek. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? My name is Thomas Cena Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomas Cena Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of... An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. 
Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. I'll let him get on. Still no shoulder. That guy is harder to find than Tom. Alright, alright. Where is Tom? You missed a very bizarre thing here. You missed a very bizarre episode. I'll tell you that. And I don't know why Miss Thomasina B Batman is acting like it's not weird as hell. Because it was the weirdest shit I've seen in a while. Can I just go home? Oh my god, I can't. What? Don't look at me like that. Remarkable. A gargantuan fossilized ammonite. Where this would look fantastic on my mantelpiece. Hey! Stay away from that! Don't touch it! Maybe fucking it's bad luck to touch the ammon's horn! The what now? I'm serious! Uh fine. Hello there, my name's Thomasina. Yeah? How are you? Go away! Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? No. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moors somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? No. Goodbye. Good day, little one. What's your name? Hello, miss. I'm Jane and this is my brother Wally. Lovely to meet you. I'm Thomasina. I introduced you to my dolls, but they're drying out at the moment. Absolutely fine. This is a lovely little beck. It's where we get our water, miss. It's good for drinking and cleaning. Your dolls look lovely, Jane. Thank you, miss. I love them very much. Today was their bath day. Tell me more about the Ammon's Horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. What god? Ammon, of course. What happened? You know what happened? I got into the woods. The wicker was becoming a zombie and it was like, whoa, do I eat your brains or what's happening? And then he vomited, laid in the ground and said, help me, help me, lady. I was like, okay, what do you want? He's like, cut me. I need you to cut me. Cut my hand so I can drop some blood. I was like, what? Cut me. So I cut him. And he's like, oh, thanks for cutting me. Now I feel better. And that's, that's it. That's it. I was like, uh, yeah, by the way, how do you uh, like living in Beulah? What? Yo, what's up, Spud? <laughs> This <laughs> does game. Yeah, I I mean I thought you would appreciate this. This is kinda <laughs> this is kinda in your region though, isn't it? <laughs> Explain that the object is in fact a fossil. Education goes a long way. You know what, kids? It's time to learn. Jane, baby. this is a fossil. It's a horn. What's a fossil, miss? There we go. A fossil is an impression of a prehistoric plant or animal embedded in rock and preserved in petrified form. This particular animal was called an ammonite. I'm confused. It's not a horn? No. It's the impression of a long dead sea creature. Well, I believe my daddy. He doesn't lie to me. Your father is somewhat correct. 
For you see, Ammonites were given their name for the Egyptian god Ammon. See, I told you, it's Ammon's horn. Oh. My daddy is always right. <sighs> Fuck you and your daddy, how about that, eh? Wally doesn't say much. He's a mardy with me because he's bored, miss. He thinks he's too old to play with dolls. I see. Wally doesn't say much. Is he the dumb one? Where are your parents? They are picking apples from the big tree in our yard. Sure there. Daddy and I sell them at the market. That sounds nice. Picking apples, they don't mind us playing at the vet. As long as we don't touch the almond's horn. Do you know an old man called Leonard Shoulder? No, miss. Why would you ask him? Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... Jane! No, miss. Are you sure? I swear. Goodbye. Are you sure, sure? Bye, miss. All right, Wally. Suck my wall. Oh. The water is icy cold. I do enjoy the charm of a babbling beck. I do. Sweet little flowers. Oh. <gasps> the delicate flowers smell rather sweet. Long. Damp rag dolls have been laid out to dry in the dreary sun. We come in wives. They aren't mine to take. Then I wouldn't want to take. There's nothing else I wish to do. No, screw Wally. All right, kids, how about I give you a fiver and then you go off and I get to investigate this. All right, kids. Okay, yeah, we've seen this place before. Moshi, moshi. Do Lord do this? I don't think anyone is. Unmistakable charm of old Cyril. A humble dwelling. You wanna go get him? Nobody home. Mm -hmm. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. All right, we're gonna get the wicker. Take us, man. The hell is this? Double click. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone is home. El Royal Mail, postmaster's residence. Mm. This must be the local post office. Must be. All right, all right, all right. A warehouse. A storeroom of some kind. It's rather empty. It's rather empty. Good day. Hello. Oh. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Evans, no. Have you ever been there? Villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Mm. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Run. Yeah. A small plaque beside the door reads Vicarage. Hmm. That with the wicker, wicker loose. I don't think anyone is home. This must belong to someone. To the wicker? Oh my. 
Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother, wife, and sister. Samuel Bryden, death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Samuel, Br death is... Hmm. Joseph Davis. John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. Forever in light, Anne Kemp. Oh. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. Is it William time, Paxton, chat? Modest and gentle of heart. King's Quest. I know we've been here. What? I'm not sure if these are poisonous or edible. The shape. I better not touch them. Exit. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Spart, aren't, aren't you and I like the same age though? Come on. Like around there. Like a like a like a ballpark. Alright, let's let's get it. I may be a barrow digger, but I'm no grave Come robber. Come on, why not though? Right. Hmm. No. That won't work. Hmm. I think this might be genuine sterling silver. No, that Can we pet the dog? Samuel Bryden. Death is only a shadow. Okay, I guess we go. It's a few years off, but yeah, yeah. That, that guy is now totally zombified. Alright. There you go. Here's the vomit. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. I bet. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye. I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Because Cthulhu? I'm ready to go to Mr. Shoulder's house. Excellent. I feel the fresh air will do me well. Follow me. Good morning, father. Good morning, Mrs. De Plancy. Mrs. De Plancy, this is Thomasina oh, Bateman, we've met. a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, father. Excellent. Miss Bateman, don't hesitate to try one of Mrs. De Plancy's wonderful cakes. Yes, I've heard about her money. famous Bakewell puddings. I'll be here all day, young lady. But remember, once they're gone, they're gone. Those little whelps have already gobbled up all the gingerbread. You are doing God's work, Mrs. De Plancy. He smiles upon us, Father. Miss Bateman, if you'd like to follow me. With all those reserves at the raid stuff, that's what I was looking for, but they're all just doing it for me. Let's talk of graves, of worms, and epitaphs. Make dust our paper. And with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. Shakespeare? Quite. Which play? Uh... Macbeth. Richard II. No, it's got to... Macbeth. Magnificent guess, Miss Bateman, but I'm afraid that God passage it. is from Richard II. Studying the work of the Bard is one of my favorite pastimes. 
Follow me. That's a nice one. Behold, the vast expanse of God's creation. Mm -hmm. The moors extend as far as the mortal eye can see. Beautiful, is it not? Sure is something. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Indeed, the moors are beautiful. The beauty of God's creation is that it takes so many forms. How can one take in such a view and not have faith? Some look at these moors and think this a godless land. But I tell you, he is found in all domains. The Lord's work is all about us. Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? Absolutely not. Tell the truth, Father Roach seems prepared to hear it. Lie, you might want to avoid a tense situation. Tell the truth. I was brought up Anglican. The church was an important part of my early life, Father Roach. But what happened to my father eventually made me question things. If you don't mind me asking, my child, Not your child. what happened to your father? He had an accident when I was very young. They're, they're power roping. Uh oh. Come along now, Thomasina. That's me. Let's get out of the rain. All right. For fuck's sake. Okay. Quick action time. Uh oh. Give us an umbrella, will ya? Oh. Back in at the hospital. Remember what I told you, all right? Uh, Be a good girl. Right. People are unwell here. They don't want to hear you running about making noise. Understood? Yes, mother. Good. And don't annoy the nurses. I promise I won't. Good. Now, let's see your father. Yes, mother. So father is like God is in the tool, yeah. Mother. Mommy. Not right now, honey. Mommy. Daddy, wake up. Uh -oh. Good evening, Mr. Bateman. Hello, little one. You must be Thomasina? Y yes My name is Nurse Blaketon. I just need to talk to your mummy for a little bit. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Bateman. Mrs. Bateman? Will he ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? The doctor is uncertain, Mrs. Bateman. There is the possibility that Mr. Bateman won't regain any movement at all. But we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst, ma'am. He will have a nurse by his side at all times, I can assure you. What sort of god would allow this fate to befall such a kind and honest mm -hmm. man? I'm sorry to hear this. God moves in mysterious ways, but he loves us all. Hmm. Come along now. Hello. She scampered off in a hurry? Who was that? Some primitive folk make their home out on the moors. I suggest you keep your wits about you when you are exploring, and don't stray too far from Bewley. I see. How much farther to Mr. Shoulder's house? I sure do see. Still quite a walk, I'm afraid. But we'll get to him soon enough. Now then, take a look at this. Primitive... Folk. Oh. Legend has it that this cairn has stood here for over a thousand years. How remarkable. The Devil's Toe. Ah, uh, here we go. I beg your pardon? That's what it's called. The Devil's Toe. Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. Mm. 
We walked and walked across that vast, featureless landscape. Oh, I have to... All the while, Father Roach was whistling away merrily. Just as I had begun to wonder if we were hopelessly lost, a building emerged from the mist. Mr. Shoulder's cottage. What was it? Here we are, Miss Bateman. Unless my memory fails me completely, this is Mr. Leonard Shoulder's house. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. How now? No need to thank me after your providential assistance today. What the fuck However, that? I have uh, something oh, to ask you. Yes? Please don't tell Mrs. De Plancy about my little scene in the woods. Mm -hmm. She will only fret, and the poor dear woman has enough on her mind as it is. I shan't mention it. Thank you. Let's go. You'd better see if Mr. Shoulder is in. Talk to Plancy. Father Roach still looks rather pallid. Hold on. Tomo? Where the hell are you, my dude? A little, a little episode. Cthulhu, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A sweet little hen, plump and well-groomed. Hmm. I've never been called that before. I mean... A fearsome-looking beast. Hey, I've never been called that. A sweet little hen, plump and well-groomed. Okay. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. Father, what do you make of this? A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Beulah. Though it does remind me of a passage by the Bard himself. Let's hear it. <clears throat> it is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Of Venice? A splendid comedy. But that particular Fuck passage is out. from the great Othello. I'm afraid your knowledge of the bard is somewhat lacking. Fuck it's been off. a while since I've read his work, Father. Never mind. Rather no sign of life. Speaking, oh, yeah. None. The window is nice and clean. The dwelling is by no means abandoned. Knocky knocky. Mr. Shoulder? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm here in Bewley as discussed. Maybe try again. His hearing probably isn't the best at his age. What age is it? Mr. Shoulder, are you home? It appears Mr. Shoulder is not at home. Curses. Perhaps you could try the handle. It's locked. Would you even suggest that, Father? Who cares of these plum little hemp's? A woolen and... undergarment. <sighs> that glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and furrow. A pair of thick woolen trousers. I knew it that was him. The guy that was running away. The gloves are a pair. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? Why didn't he come inside to see me? Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Perhaps Possibly. Too noisy I'd suggest you like call back later, my child. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to with the church. Shall I accompany you back to Bewley? No, you go ahead, Father. Thank you. As you wish. Farewell, Miss Bateman. I hope Mr. Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet sorrow.
Which is way? No, Spade, Spade, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet? Correct. Yes. That I shall say good night till it be morrow. Lord be with you. One well, Mr. Shoulder, Back you've now. brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. Unless. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of wood neatly beneath this small lean to. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. The trousers feel damp, freshly hung, or still wet from last night's rain. Slightly damp. Mr. Shoulder must have dropped the matching glove last night. What was he doing in the alley? Rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Hey, we can pet friends. Nice. Knocky, knocky. No sign of any movement. God damn it. This must provide a charming view across the moor. The window is much too high up. something as soon as we exit this place this is the other one right they all look the same to me As I trudged back to Bewley oh. across those cold moors, I made a new resolution. A new year's resolution. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. No. The risk of rain. The train! That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. Margaret's lookout. I wonder who Margaret is, or was. A fine spot to take a rest. Hey, I got an achievement for that. It says rest can't see magic this game no well trust me I did <sighs> speaking of taking a rest Tomla's not here oh my god Case of missing Tom. I'm looking. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go meet Kenneth. To the eyes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello. Good day. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. De Plancy.
Father Roach seems rather under the weather, don't you think? Father Roach? The man is as fit as a lad half his age. What makes you say that? I found him in the woods in a state of considerable distress. Oh my! This is very worrying. I must check on him later. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> hmm. A scandal monger. <laughs> I got a new achievement, a scandal monger. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. Dark something, darkest, darkest dungeon. We're thinking of Dunker's Dungeon right now. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. <sighs> Chad, do we do we what do we do? Do we call it here or Or do we keep on keeping on? It's not really action packed. Watch, watch really? your back, kind of, kind of thing. The, 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 the rich man's manor to dig below. You know, ah, I see, I see, I see where you're going with this. However, no. Well, let me tell you, we are the top most viewed streamer of the excavation of house battle say that say that all right eh ho Solo GTFO. I guess it doesn't make much sense. Does. Okay. All right. Let's do it here. Quit. Yeah. Quit. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. That was nice, that, that was nice. That was a nice little kind of change of pace. That was nice and uh, it went it went horror a couple times already. For me, totally. Changing games or end stream? Man, what, how about you let me speak for 10 seconds and then you'll see what happens. How about, how about them apples? I think we're gonna have a, a second dinner as well. I, uh, it's 11 p.m. I have to bake donuts at like eight in the morning tomorrow, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be switching games unless in the next five seconds. Tomo comes in and says, hey, what, you want to do a thing? We are ending. Mm. Man, I don't know what is it, what it is. Every now and then, uh, since coming to Japan, I have a day of just, just going, just all of the juices coming from my from my from my sinuses from my sinusual area here probably all the uh, the, the micro dust or whatever it is 
had a terrible day at work. <sighs> it's better now. Hopefully, we'll be, I'll be, I'll be good enough to uh, to bake some donuts. So that's gonna be it for t tomorrow. We're gonna ba bake some donuts, and then we're gonna come back, come home a little bit earlier, I hope. And then we're back. We're back on the grind train. Scooby, a booby doo. Uh, tomorrow, I'm uh, probably gonna be playing GTFO. Um, what? What's tomorrow? Is it a Friday? No. It's Thursday. We're gonna be playing a little bit of. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, we're gonna play a little bit more of the horrors. Probably GTFO, maybe something else. Depends on who we play with. That's it. This this looks nice though. I say we uh, we play it again. We play it again when um in a better health condition, just like Father Roach. <laughs> right. <laughs> In olden times, streamers had to narrate stuff. Cthulhu! Dominus! That's gonna be it. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. We're done, chat. We're done here. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Look. I'm going out of the tank! Woo! Like this. Chat, I will not be contained. There you go. That's the one. You get that one for free. Alright, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Trying out this new game. Uh, what was it? The Excavation of Hobbs Bada. Looks fun, looks fun. Played today at two hours. Almost. Hold on. Hold on, let's see. Hold up the bit. Oh, fuck's sake, I already forgot what it's called. The excavation. The excavation of. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'll be a couple of streams the way we play. I'll be a couple of streams. Okay, it's not that long. I like it. We might actually uh, finish it during October. There you go. For tomorrow, we have uh, GTFO, and um, we're also planning to to do uh, to do a Resident Evil, at least one of those. I realized I watched a bunch of like uh, speedruns, Resident Evil two and three, I guess, but never actually played, so I don't really know the story. So that might actually be a good thing to play together. Mm. So we're gonna play those two. Alright. More games, more fun times. That sounds mega. There you go. Nice. Well, another thing to look forward to in the upcoming days of the Horror Games Festival. <laughs> Thank you everybody for hanging out with me. For keeping me sane. Alright everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Keep on keeping on. Don't get scared and don't get pulled into a Cthulhu worshipping church. Or any kind of church. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good luck with the donuts and picks. Yo. That is D O S. Be careful. Alright, chip. Stay frosty. Love ya. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Alright? Good night. Mm -hmm.